No zero days. So what does this even mean? It's quite simple actually. And if you're serious about this journey of making games, then this concept is absolutely vital to understand. Now, for those of you who are new here, my name is John Stayskull. I've been a professional game developer for about 10 years, working on a combination of commercial and indie projects. I'm currently working on a Viking adventure platformer called Blood and Mead, about a drunken Viking who is traveling across uh, the world. Oh, and make sure you subscribe to the channel as I have plenty more game dev related content, tutorials, devlogs, and all that good stuff. All right, so no zero days. It means do something every single day to move forward in your chosen direction. So what does that even look like? And why is it important? First of all, we know what a perfect indie dev game dev day looks like and how it feels. You are locked in the dev zone, undisturbed. Your mom, girlfriend, boyfriend, brother, sister, dog are not bothering you with peasantry, non-game dev related information. And importantly, you are not bothering yourself with social media and other time stealing shenanigans because that's what they do. They steal your time. You are in the elusive flow state. Everything seems effortless. But those magical glory days are few and far between, right? Most days of the week, you'll be inundated with real world problems and distractions and things to do. Perhaps you're at a job all day. Maybe you're driving a bus or making sandwiches. And especially right now, there's so much chaos in the world that it's easy to get caught up and distracted. So then the end of the day comes, right? It's night time. You have no energy, your brain is absolutely fried, and your day is done. Commiserations to you in those cases. You've just had a zero day. So what's the big deal? Well, it's about momentum. If you're familiar with physics, you might also be familiar with Newton's laws of motion. Now, Newton's first law states that every object will remain at rest unless compelled to change its state by the action of an external force. Now, what this basically means is, if you sit on your ass watching TV and YouTube and your Twitter feed all day, well, that, my friends, is what you're going to be doing. Newton's second law states, the velocity of an object will change when it is subjected to an external force. So you are here at A. You're trying to get to B, which represents your goal. Starting a game, finishing a game, starting your own game dev studio. Everything outside this relationship, different daily distractions, people, are trying to push you in every which way, diverting you from this trajectory slowing down your core journey, in this case, game development, which is a pure expression of your identity. It's very important to us. And though you may have been on a great roll, months of solid work, all it takes is a few consecutive days of distraction from that A to B journey to start the process of complete derailment. Two days leads to three, three to five, and before you know it, you haven't touched your passion project for a couple of months. You then try to return, only to be confused by the state of the project. Maybe the code is hard to read because you've been away from it for so long. So instead you decide it'll be easier to go watch some YouTube. And then you are done. That's it. Because it took momentum to get up that hill to where you were. Think of a truck with a heavy uh, cargo or load. It can't just stop halfway up the hill, then later expect to be able to start from there and continue going up. No, no, no. It needs momentum. It's going to have to go all the way back down, build up speed, work through the gears, and then get to the top. The truck is you. That cargo is filled with your dreams and expectations. So that's the analogy. You're trying to get up this hill. If you stop during those hard moments, then you're going straight back down. And you may not even try going up again because you realize how much work you've, you've potentially undone 
and to try to traverse that terrain again all that energy we have a mental uh, finite mental energy that will be used up so why is this a to b derailment happening why are all these external forces trying to pull us from this path and this is very important so listen up it's because well the universe doesn't owe you anything nobody has said it's going to be easy and life in a sense by definition is hard and most people don't want you to succeed and as hard as that might be to hear or believe it's absolutely true and it's even more true with people who are close to you in your personal uh, circle and it's up to you to cut straight through that clutter and bullshit because you can't change all that external noise easily but what you can change is yourself your actions and how you respond to all that um, external influence so no zero days is a philosophy that i live by that allows us creatives to stay on that track and avoid the derailment that these external forces will try to bring on us it's a trick or a hack so once again it means every single day doing something little to keep that momentum going not breaking that momentum chain it can be as simple as one line of code one function um, one graphic edit or doing something in photoshop or if you're having a particularly difficult day full of distractions that won't bring you to the computer then use the computer up here you have the most powerful computer and um, canvas here to play on forget ray tracing rtx graphics cards your one is much better so use that space sit down take a moment and just work through problems in your game maybe think of new enemy types new items or new mechanics that you can bring to your game because all that is still work it's all counted and perhaps those conceptual steps are even more important than those that are done on the computer initially because they lay the foundation for what your actions will be and with that said if you're going to do this kind of conceptual work it's very important that you write this stuff down because it's very easy to forget the stuff that goes on up here and it's changing so rapidly that you might have one great idea a new great idea comes along and pushes that old one straight out so eventually one of these glorious productive game dev days will emerge and you're like wow four hours of dev time you get some great things in but it's those smaller little sessions that you did daily some, some conceptual some little things like i mentioned they are keeping the momentum going linking the big milestones in your game together keeping it on path keeping it on track keeping it from derailing so start fighting back against the time thieves in your life do a little something every single day because if you aren't moving forward you are in fact moving backwards because time is moving forward it's not going to wait for you and if you're unlucky you may one day open your eyes and realize that life has passed you by it's important that you do your very best to live the life you deserve to live and that is to fulfill those innermost goals and dreams that is possible that is a scenario it doesn't defy the laws of physics to fulfill that no matter how hard or how unimaginable some of these things are and game dev can take you there game dev changed my life dramatically from me just being a noob making some flash games in my mum's house to getting my first game dev job to working on my own games each one of those things was me fulfilling my dreams and no zero days is definitely one strategy to help achieve those things so thanks for watching guys and a big thank you to my beautiful patreon supporters who have been um, graciously donating to me every month i really appreciate you guys thank you very much if any of you want to help support this channel and the work and content i create i'll put a link to the patreon down below Doing so will also give you exclusive um, Discord access to a support channel where I can help you in more depth with your games. And it will also give you access to a repository of different game making tools and scripts that I've been adding to every month. Alright guys, all the best. See you in the next video. 
and good luck on your game dev adventures.